<sighs> hey guys, Seth Matters here, and if you've not seen episode 5, uh, SOG, or SOG, please click, click in the top left um, hand corner of your screen right now. If you want to skip ahead to mission 7, then clip, um, click in the top right corner of your screen right now, uh, assuming that I post mission 7 by this time. There will also be a link to mission 7 at the end of this video, so stay tuned and stick around and watch this video. So in this mission, we, uh, we're in Hugh City, I think it is. This says in the beginning. And we get to use the Dragon's Breath, um, which is the shotgun with uh, explosive bullets. So it catches people on fire pretty much, and it's awesome actually. I, I can kind of see why they wouldn't uh, want to use this in um, multiplayer gameplay, because it would kind of be like a flamethrower with a uh, shotgun, so it would kind of be unfair a little bit. But this gun is amazing, I think. It is probably one of the best guns in the campaign, and yeah. Um, so I'm gonna kind of ramble on here. I just got woke, I just woke up from like a five hour cat nap. I meant to, so I meant to do this contract, or not, um, this video five hours earlier, but I fell asleep after watching a YouTube video, and and I just woke up and I figured, okay, now I should do it. So I took a shower, did that stuff, and sorry for the personal details, but yeah, we're going into this now. Um, tips for this, uh, really no tips. Again, probably the top three most important tips I can give through this entire uh, um, mission or entire campaign for that matter is stay in cover, get behind solid like materials um, and move up as well because they spawn if you don't and don't rely on your teammates because unlike Modern Warfare 2 they will not do many killings so somehow that guy just survived a knife and this guy's shotgun boom and then spray up here but yeah uh, stay in um, stay hidden stay in uh, cover bases because it's other places because that will help you and uh yeah so we're moving on now it's amazing actually that people just come one by one because they could easily just come like I don't know send a couple people and I would be dead but no they're not that smart ah oh, god okay so what am I talk about this mission is a 14 minute mission it is very very long and uh, I guess I'm talking about um what uh, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me with some projects or something. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm gonna kind of focus around Minecraft a little bit. I, uh, my goal, I sent Evan 1994 a message, and the message pretty much more or less said that, um, I would be submitting one creation a, a week to his, uh, Craft Creations series. So, the whole point of this, hopefully, is I can get a, uh, streak week going that sounded actually pretty cool um to try and last the longest in in it so uh right now i have about three or four creations that i can send to him for the next three or four weeks but what i want to ask you guys now is what should i make uh because i want to get a head start so i can get this going but yeah what should i make guys i want to uh learn what to do so i can get this done like uh a week or two before um, it's actually, I have to submit it, and yeah, I know, it'll just be very helpful, guys. So, if you could please, um, leave a comment telling me what, um, what I should make, that would be very appreciated, uh, in here. Reznov comes in, and this is where you get kind of confused, so, you're gonna have to remember, like I said before, that Reznov is still in prison, he never made it out, so you're gonna have to remember that, guys, it plays a very important role in figuring out the logic of the Black Ops campaign. But so far I've made a giant pyramid, uh, the Twin Towers buildings, um, I made a battleship, I made a stadium, and yeah, I think that's the four creations, I think. So, uh, if you guys could please leave a comment and, um, tell me what I can make, I'd very much appreciate it, and Reznov needs to get out of the freaking way so I can... Run by, please. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, so you guys can do that. Uh, projects that I'm working on. I was kind of thinking about doing at the end of this. 
a uh, Black Ops movie. Obviously, uh, there was no movie for Call of Duty, not even a Black Ops, a Call of Duty movie. And I would kind of focus around uh, just getting Call of Duty or just getting um, action gameplay and from um, movies and putting that all together and kind of trying to make a, a movie for Call of Duty. I don't know. I would just like that kind of. Uh, so, I don't know, tell me what you guys think of that, and I already did this, I put four hours, that's right, I had four hours of gameplay, so I put four hours of gameplay into, um, what's it called, into, uh, a video, and I sped it up by 2,000, and the video was 12 minutes long, so I figured you guys did not want to watch another 12 minute video without commentary, because I don't want to commentate all over all that. So I did that, I made the file, and then I uh, imported it again into iMovie, and I, uh, and yeah, I fit, um, sped it up about another thousand, and now the video is only two minutes long, two minutes, three seconds, so I'll be putting that video at the end of the uh, campaign to signify the very end. And what else is there? Um, one more thing, I think. Crap, I can't remember anymore. I really need to play these things out better. Um, I was gonna ask what software should I use? Uh, uh, right now I use iMovie, which definitely is not the best um, possible. What's it called? Uh, I'm gonna die here, do I? Oh uh, no, I don't die. Um, the best possible uh, video editor program that I can use I can probably pay for a better one and I've heard Sony Vegas is pretty amazing but yeah I was gonna ask you guys what should I get if you guys are gonna say Sony Vegas then okay but I was kinda hoping you guys would have more creativity than this and this is a perfect representation right here of the map cracked uh, yeah the, it's all put together quite well on this and yeah and this guy just can't shoot me at all can he um, but the maps all perfectly put together here and we're gonna call stuff in. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I just call. I think I just called it in on a tank. Okay. Um. God, this mission's only. So this is the sick mission, I think. And you figure out the defector. Uh. I can't really remember what that was exactly, but I'm pretty sure that it was something to do with um. Like, kind of like a sleeper agent, kind of thing like that. Uh, I think that's what it was about, but we are in Hugh City, and that doesn't ring any bells, actually. I remember, uh, I do remember the uh, major cities in the Vietnamese War, and I don't remember Hugh City being one of them. And, yeah, so after this mission, we go to Kowloon, which is where you get to play the multiplayer version of it. You go to Kowloon, and you, uh, try and figure out what the numbers mean kind of thing, uh, so we're gonna go up here, and I was just screwed right there, so I called it in right there, because I really, I would've died if I just, uh, kept on, uh, if I would've turned, so, I had to call it in, so it takes a little long, longer, because I have to call it in three times instead of two, yeah, so I have to hide out here, and this is actually a very good hiding place, uh, not if you lay down all the way, if you kind of put yourself um, in a crouched position on one of the poles, not standing up, not uh, laying down on a crouched position on one of the poles. It's actually a very good position um, not to get hurt. But if you, after that, you want to move over here to the very left of it and just camp down in here. Uh, there's only one other entrance in it and it's behind you, so can't really do anything about that. And I'll try to destroy the last target, but apparently you do need a uh, helicopter for that so checkpoint reached and I'm gonna go in here now um yeah so we're gonna move in this kind of reminds me a little bit about more Modern Warfare 2 I don't know push push Mason push oh I'm sorry for the guys being like the lack of energy in this mission I slow-mo epic uh, I just like I said I just woke up and I've had a really horrible day. It's a Sunday today. Like I said, I've been putting up videos 
every day and Sunday, Monday, school's tomorrow and I really don't want to go. I don't know how many of you guys enjoy school. I kind of stopped enjoying school after fifth grade. Uh, it, it got to the point where it's just like, yeah, I don't care at all for school anymore. So Dragon's Breath, I mean, if this gun was in multiplayer, I would I would have an orgasm. I couldn't believe I, I, now I think about it, yeah, I would definitely have an orgasm because that gun is amazing. And I think problem, the reason why you don't see people with um, shotguns is because compared to the assault rifles and SMGs, they suck. Um, they don't have the range that they do, and they don't have the damage at the range that they do. So, yeah, unfortunately, if they had more um, damage, then it would be uh, a lot better. But they don't have that much damage, and they don't have that great of a range. So, that's the problem there. We're going to go here to landing zone and just camp it down. Um, not many of them actually come, but the most important part is to just um, keep them off. Get on the 50 caliber gun, and just shoot them off as much as you can. I so badly just want to hop on there, but I can't. No, save me. So yeah, just camp out here, go behind this little thing and just shoot construction, use your grenade launchers. Mm. Yeah, what was I saying? Um, school, did we get past that? I think we did. Oh no, we were talking about shotguns. Uh, I, they just can't really come to a conclusion, because shotguns as a secondary easily overwhelms the uh, launchers and the pistols, but um, shotguns as a primary does not do much... Uh, no one chooses. No one will choose it over a, um, over an assault rifle, so or SMG for that matter. So no one will choose it over those. So I think maybe the most important thing is either you bring up the stats so that the range and the damage is better on a shotgun, or you reduce the um, range and damage on a shotgun as a secondary, so it's not that good. Because I will never use. I use the. Uh, what did I use? I use the. Uh, Spaz 12 and the AA 12 when I was playing Mama for 2 a lot. And those were the only two secondaries I used pretty much. So, what does that show? It shows that uh, shotguns are clearly overpowered as a secondary. So, if you're going to use to uh, Treyarch, I don't think Infinity War is actually doing Mama for 2 anymore. I think them and Activision had like a falling out. So, they're not doing it. And uh, I would like BioWare to actually start doing a. Uh, Call of Duty, that would be pretty awesome. Bioware Call of Duty would be awesome. But yeah, Activision uh, needs to work on, Activision Treyarch just in general, whoever the producers needs to work on putting, um, making it, if they want to make it equal game, then put, uh, uh, put some stats in that are realistic, not like some bullshit. But uh, I think the mission after this is quite e no, not the mission after that. mission 8, Crash Tight, I think it's called, is quite easy. And fun, but we're getting to the end of the mission here. We hop on a boat and we get out because uh, no one's really coming right now. I don't know if it's just me or something, but there's not seem like there's a lot of people coming. And this is hard in twos. I don't even know what's happening. I think a tank comes here. There's a tank. But a tank eventually comes here. I'm using a lot of grenade launchers, as you see. Uh, and then they tell us I'm looking over there because I know that the boat's going to come. And as soon as they Give me the option to call in support, you want to call it on the tank, and uh, then hide, because support and hiding stuff is your best best friend in this campaign, but I was I learned something from this uh, mission, doing commentaries, being sleep deprived is not a good idea, I kind of rambled on a bunch, and hopefully I'll be more entertained for the next mission, but thank you guys for watching, if you have not seen mission 7, click in the top right hand corner of your screen right now. But I will see you guys later, and thank you for watching.